In tonight's sports news, the West Indies recall Narayan and Pollard, Laverne Spencer qualifies for World Championship, and Ronaldo will not face charges in a rape case. We bowl off tonight's sports with cricket. West Indies cricket selectors have recalled Sunil Narayan and Kiran Pollard to the squad to play the first 2020 internationals against India early next month. The selectors have also called up wicket keeper batsman Anthony Bramble to the 14 member squad released by the selectors on Monday. The first two matches in the My Team 11 T20 International Series will be played at the Broward County Stadium in Lauderhill, Florida on August 3rd and 4th with the third schedule for the Guyana National Stadium on August 6th. Andrew Russell has also been recalled subject to him passing a fitness assessment prior to the series. Left-handed opener John Campbell and left-arm spinner Kyrie Pierre have also been included alongside a number of regulars led by Captain Carlos Braffitt. Chris Gale is unavailable for the series due to playing commitments at the GT20 in Canada. The full squad reads Anthony Bramble, John Campbell, Sheldon Cottrell, Shimon Hetmeyer, Evan Lewis, Sunil Narine, Kimo Paul, Kyrie Pierre, Kiran Pollard, Nicholas Puran, Roveman Powell, Andrew Russell and O'Shea Thomas. In more cricket news, the grand finals of the 2019 Grosley Domestic Cricket Tournament, sponsored by the district rep Honorable Leonard Spider Montoot, bowled off at the Grosley playing field on Sunday, 21st July. The highly anticipated final, which was contested between defending champions Gerson Strikers and first timers Melius Challengers, saw the defending champions successfully regaining their championship comfortably by 115 runs. But in first in the game reduced to 40 overs, Gerson Strikers posted 188 all out in 39.1 overs, with Joshua Mantop scoring 41. He received a valuable assistance from Kyle Adonis, who scored 26, Matteo Boulogne, he scored 23, and Lee Solomon, he scored 20. The pick of the bowlers for Melrose Challengers were Tonius Simon, who took 4 for 13, and Tariq Edward, 3 for 44. Chasing 189 for victory, Melrose Challengers was restricted to 73 all out in 22.1 overs as a result of some steady good bowling spearheaded by the captain, Simeon Gerson. Tonius Simon, top score with 24. The wicket takers were Simeon Gerson, who took 5 for 15 in 7.1 overs, Lee Solomon, 2 for 17 in 4 overs, Joshua Mann took 2 for 18 in 7 overs, and McKinney Clark, 2 for 22 in 4 overs. Man of the Match Award went to Simeon Gerson. On to Athletics, St. Lucia and the region's high jump sensation, Laverne Spencer, last weekend achieved a season's best mark of 1.94 meters to qualify for the World Athletics Championships scheduled for later this year in Doha, Qatar. As the world-class high jumper soared over the bar last Friday in Berlin, Germany, she didn't just achieve a season's best, but also book a flight to represent St. Lucia for the eighth consecutive time at this global event held every two years. Though not having the most prolific season of a longer successful career, the star high jumper has managed to clear 1.90 meters or higher at least eight times this season and currently sits at number seven in the world on the IAAF ranking list. As Spencer prepares to head back to a training base in Athens, Georgia, her focus will be on the Pan American Games schedule for August this year in Lima, Peru, where she's expected to defend her title of Pan American Champion, which she won in 2015. Continuing with our sports news, football star Cristiano Ronaldo will not face charges after being accused of sexual assault, U.S. prosecutors say. Catherine Mayoga, 34, had alleged that the Juventus player raped her at a Las Vegas hotel in 2009. She reportedly reached an out-of-court settlement with the Portuguese star in 2010, but sought to reopen the case in 2018. He denied the allegations. In a statement on Monday, Las Vegas prosecutors said the claim could not be proven beyond reasonable doubt. No charges will be forthcoming, the statement said. Finally, on tonight's sports news, basketball. It's been only three years since Tim Duncan retired from the basketball court, but he's making a return this time as a coach. The San Antonio Spurs announced Monday that fans will see a familiar face on the sidelines this season when Duncan takes on the role of assistant coach. Duncan played 19 seasons with the Spurs, winning five NBA titles and two MVP awards. He scored 26,496 points with the team, making him the franchise leader and played 1,392 games. The fan favorite retired in summer 2016 and his number 21 was retired that year. That's sports news for tonight.